Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. It's been a couple days since I posted. Uh, this is exactly how I left off. I haven't done anything in the interim. So we still have all our old mechs in the bays. Um, as a part of... Yeah, I know, map cannot be downloaded right now. Uh, so, um, as if you want to roleplay this scenario out, and I think it's kind of an interesting idea, you could say that, you know, let's... I mean, if we have a look at the star map, this map couldn't be downloaded. I'm not exactly sure why I'm not getting the map. I may have to uninstall and reinstall again. Um, yeah, I can't get anybody here. So, I, you know, I did I did install the uh, full interactive maps. I'm not sure why it's like this. But um, anyway, that being said, if you wanted to role play... Um, the switch over, you could say that there's a massive virus that went around. It took down command and control everywhere. It took down battle mechs. It infected systems. So the only way that people found that they could actually fix it is to basically replace all the parts and go in and fix up the mechs from scratch just to make sure everything was working and functioning again, basically purging the, any virus that was in the system. And you could just say that that's like a precursor of clan invasion. Um, they just sent it around, disrupting all uh, all, uh, all military capability in the inner sphere, uh, and it just said you know it spread rapidly. Could you imagine? I mean, infected hyperpulse generator networks, everything, right? So everything goes down. So now you've got to basically, as a mercenary company, uh, somehow scrounge together enough sea bills to be able to fix what you've um, um, all your systems and stuff. Uh, maybe the fact that the Argo is so old, uh, maybe it gets away with. Um, not having to worry about it, but I don't know. I mean, most of the tech is old tech, so who knows? We have to fix everything up. So um, that's kind of how I'm going to run with this right now. Um, so let's have a look at the mech bays, and we have to decide. Now, uh, Falcon Freeborn, I had almost 6 million sea bills, and it was just enough to get a 75-ton lance up and running four 75 ton mechs and that's without putting xl engines or anything en engines in them so this is going to be really really expensive so now i have to decide how i want to proceed with this uh, i'm thinking unfortunately the black knight's going to have to stay out for now uh, it's going to cost too much to get it up and running properly as well the catapult is going to have to stay both catapults will have to stay out most likely what i'll attempt to do is bring the two bushwhackers back online then I'm going to try and bring the Hunchback Punchbot back online, and then I'm going to try and bring the Strix back online, the Flamehawk. Um, I'd like to try and go for long-range builds after my first foray into um, uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn. The longer range, the better, I'm thinking. Good sensors, good stealth, long-range weapons, and that's the way to go. And I think we can take on some pretty good missions with these guys. So... Let's start by, I'm not going to worry about getting these guys fixed because these guys are just going to get dropped into storage afterwards. So let's start by putting our mechs in storage. This is going to be painful. Um, it's going to be sea bill painful. Uh, we have 18 days left until the end of the month. We've got enough sea bills. We have to make sure we can make our financial report. But the more mechs that we put into storage, the less it's going to cost us till end of month. I know it still says 900,000, but... Once we go out of here and come back, it'll be fine. So I wanted to do this this particular episode uh, and show you what it takes to, to refit. Because if any if no one's been playing and they're, you're planning on playing, this is kind of a good uh, good indication of what you'll be up against if you've if you're bringing stuff from 998 to 999. If you're just starting off in 999 again, or if you don't have a lot of seat bells, my my suggestion is just to start over again. Um, I don't want to do that because of, obviously because of the series, but also because you know, it's fun to kind of do this kind of switch over and stuff. So, all right, let's go to the mech bays again. So, let's check our storage. Let's grab the two bushwhackers. We may have to do a basic load on, out on them. I don't know yet. So, let's bring this guy forward. It's ready you. And the reason why I want to ready the bushwhackers first um, is because both bushwhackers have the chameleon... Um, the chameleon uh, stealth and I want to be going maximum stealth on these guys well, we could probably do a mission with just the two mechs so let's manage our tasks a bit here bring these guys up to the front 
And let's go forward today. All right, now we got to figure out a load out here. So let's go to Bayes. Something that's going to be efficient, um, going to give us the best targeting. Let's go with the SR2. That's Baba Yaga's mech. All right, let's see what we got here. So, yeah, they've changed it significantly. I like the fact that they put all the uh, actuators in because now um, certain things will go on certain actuators. So spike the spiked feet or whatever actually go on the foot slot. So he still saves two slots down here, which is a really cool idea. Just like these slots here get filled with stuff when you put it on top, right? So cool idea. Okay, so first things first. Um, we're going to want clan endo steel for sure. Um, oh, it doesn't have the chameleon armor? Does it have it built in? It doesn't have. Didn't the bushwhackers have a ba like built-in built-in targeting system and everything? Well, that could be bad. All right, we're gonna need to put uh, good ECM, good stealth. See, like if even if I go with this, right? No, nah, it's like there's a million of my C bills gone. I, I can't afford that. Not if I want to get stuff up and running. Uh, we might go with uh, probably double heatsink kit. Not even decided yet. Just going to put a double heat sink kit in first to start. Um, definitely going to want an exchanger, but let's wait. Um, weapon mounts, we've got what two weapon mounts? That's it, eh? That's a whole not a whole lot. All right, so let's use this mech, um, most likely as a big firepower mech. Uh, we're going to want the weight, so let's go with XL gyro. Uh, what size core do we want now? Uh, this is what we want for stealth. So let's pull that in for now. Um, let's have a look here. How big of a core do we want? We're a 55 tonner. Uh, it's at least got to be a 250 or a 260. It's only half a ton difference, right? Full ton. Full ton difference, really. Maybe we go a little lighter. 240 is going to give us what speed here? 5.9. That's pretty good. We'll go with that. Let's go with the 5.9. Um, we want to go with long range firepower. Um, improved clan fire control system. Improve call shots by 15%. It's not giving me a bonus to hit though. Enhanced imaging sure as hell does though. Plus two initiative. Plus one accuracy when activated, really? Okay. So you've got the R12 sheath beacons. No, I like the Nova CWS better. Yeah. Let's go with recon sensors. Well, no, I want to go with tracker sensors for the plus one accuracy. We really want to go accuracy on these guys. Um, and maybe if we go laser build... Maybe we take out the uh, improved fire control and we just go for destructive capability and go with the fire control system energy. I'm wondering if, because we're going to need sea bills, so we, sh we should just be taking sea bill run missions and if we get some salvage, great, but I think we should be going for cash. Mm. I don't know, this gives us more bonuses. Zoom accuracy. See, I wish I had more of these. The C3 network works really great. And uh, Falcon Freeborn, Jade Falcon Freeborn, they, all of my guys have these. And the targeting, as long as one person can see the enemy, it just makes it so much easier for everybody to hit them. Um, so if you can get if you can get C3s, um, get them for sure. Hmm. 
don't really have a lot here. I want to split up accuracy. Two ballistic mounts, one laser. Got four energy hard points. We could go medium improved heavy. Hmm. ER large clan, 60 damage. I mean, the other thing is to go. Where are you here? Do we have our. Could go with a pair of ERPPCs. These are only got 60 damage though. For f that's too much heat. Huh. Donald PPC is what? Defiance. Recoil. Now I thought we had minus heat bonus to hit. But I guess we don't. All right. Um, got a lot of space left. So much obsolete stuff here. I have no idea what these are. If you know, drop it in the comment section down below. I have no idea what went obsolete here. 16 and 2. Interesting. All right, well, we want to avoid systems, so let's put that in. Um, let's move down here. Cooling pods have changed. I don't know if I'm really happy with the change or not. All right, let's think about this. So we could go ER medium. I think we want ballistic-wise. We could go with a ballistic build on this guy, too. Just so... Heavy. Uh, the one thing I will mention, you know, all these Myrmidon, Federated, okay, yeah, they're different autocans and wonderful. Um, but this, the names of everything is just, it's just too much. It's like, does it really need to be there? Maybe it does, I don't know. Could go with it. Well, I need a long range build, right? So. pair of light AC5s, so but they're only 35 damage each. It's a lot of weight for that. We could go with an Ultra 10. Ultra 10 Clan. It's even better. It's a little hotter, but it has a really good range. 510. Rack 5 we have. 14 tons. We got minus 2 recoil. What's the recoil of the Rack 5? 3. So it's not so bad. Clan Goss. Goss, regular Goss rifle. We have a heavy Goss rifle. I just don't think we have any ammo. 18 tons. Two recoil, so we could handle that. Um, and then machine gun arrays, which we don't want to use right now. Twelve tons for seventy-five damage on this arm, and then we could put an ER large on this arm. Let's just try it for a second here. Let's go this route. The ammo we don't have to worry about the ammo with this thing because the Gauss ammo doesn't explode, right? Does not explode. Double load of Gauss ammo. Do we really need eighteen shots? See, here's the thing. Uh, you, you can put a double load in if you want, but it takes up two slots. If the bin gets hit, all the ammo's gone. Whereas if you put in two singles, which is a couple rounds less, then you have to hit both slots to lose all the ammo. So I'm going to go two. Plus, we don't really need the extra couple turns of firing. And by the way, whoever did the math on this, you got to remath it. 25% extra ammo is not two extra shots. Where is it here? So Goss ammo double. 18 shots is not 25% more. Right? Think about it. 
16 rounds for two tons. 25% of 16 is what? It's like three and a half, four. So it'd be four more rounds rather than, <laughs> it should be 20, not 18. So someone needs to remath that. Um, still, I'm not complaining. Right? I'm just saying you got to remath it if you're going to do it right. That's like 10% rounded up. All right, so we're going to go with the Goss, and then let's go with the, uh, where are you here? My big juicy ER large clan. That's risky to have all this in one arm. That's for damn sure. Still got lots of good heat sinking. We, can, we have to put another heat sink in still, which is free. Intech large lasers. Why is this only doing 38 damage? Trade range and damage for reduced heat. Why would you want to put five tons? <laughs> I don't even understand that. You'd be better off with two medium lasers. I guess if you don't have the hard points. Sure. Let's go with this. What are we doing for heat now? Okay. Let's go to equipment. Uh, the armor's not maxed out. Damn you all to hell. Ah, you really, are you serious? Let's do this. Um, we're hoping not to get attacked from behind. You know what? We've got um, patchworks. First of all, let's put that double heat sink in that we need to put in. And we don't have very many double heat sinks. Okay. So weight wise, heat wise, we're okay. Uh, let's put the clan exchanger in. Okay, that's perfect. Then we want to put two Let's put a couple of these in here. We've got lots of 0.5s. So let's put them in the legs. Two. And let's put a 7.5 in here. So maybe we can max out the armor now. Okay. And then let's put another patchwork on this side. We're going to have to adjust this afterwards, but we just want to get into battle, I think, first. Yeah. That's how it's going to be, it looks like. Goss, ER large, ER medium pulse. Big guns. Five, well, we might be able to get more than just this going if it's going to be this cheap. That's actually pretty good. So let's confirm this. Alright, second bushwhacker. Let's uh, manage our tasks here too because we want to get these guys up first. 14 days though. Painful. Actually, you know what? Since it's going to take us, we're going to be going past the financial report anyway, no matter what we do. Let's get these other guys fixed and we can drop them out before that and we'll, it'll cost us less for the financial report. Okay, Bushwhacker. Let's refit this guy. Let's see what we got. It's pretty much the same loadout, I think. Yeah. So let's get. Go to equipment. And let's get the clan endo in. Now we put a 240 in the last guy. I think we're going to make this guy a little slower. Um, and let's go with the 225 I think we have. Yeah. It's a little slower, but it's also one ton lighter. So we'll go with that. Um, now I think what I want to do, probably QS suite. A 210 meter. Uh, I think I want more weight on this guy because I'm probably going to go with a PPC build on this guy, most likely. Uh, which means I probably want to have. Wait, we have the clan improved? 
It's going to give us a bonus to hit if they're overheating and stuff too, right? So let's go with that. Let's go with... God, the rangefinder would be good on this guy, but I think we're going to have enough to bring other people forward. I'm going to go with the R12 sheath beacon on this one. Um, and then we need something for the cockpit. You know what? Maybe we do go with the rangefinder. Um, resolve an initiative. Tracker sensors. I think we've got a better ECM than that. So let's go with tracking sensors. And then do we have a better cockpit? I guess we don't. We could go with the slick suite initiative for all Lance members and injuries resist, but I think the range finder is probably better just to get eyes on the enemy. So I think we're going to go that route. Let's get our, figure out what we're going to use here. Probably the full warfare sweep for the plus one defense. 240 meter bubble. Let's get that dropped in. Um, going to go with the PPC, so let's get the capacitor in there. Uh, let's look here. Let's go with, um, where are you here? C3I. Uh, I don't think we're ready for this yet. We don't really have the weight to mess around. Could go with the Angel system. Yeah. It's a little lighter. XL gyro. Let's get that in there. Um, let's get... Where's that other weapon mount? Here it is here. Let's put this in this arm. Okay, what else do we have here? Now, can you put... Oh my god, you can stack these? You can stack them now. That's kind of cool. I'll have to remember that when building a melee mech. Unless these things take up the whole arm, do they? Lower left arm. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Gonna need a client exchanger, most likely. Um, okay, where's the prototype double heatsink kit? Let's get this guy in here. And we need at least one more pro double heatsink, so let's just drop it in for now. Um, and we want to put, let's put two patchworks in, just to get an extra ton to start. Let's not forget to max out the armor, because, der. Um, now we want to get the void system in here. I want to be nice and quiet. I'm surprised the chameleon systems disappeared from this guy. Um, it's interesting. So let's uh, do that. And then let's do weapons. Now I think we do have a clan ERPPC, do we not? We do. Okay, so that's 70 damage for 6 tons. That's not bad. 50 heat though. So, I mean, our heat efficiency is going to be pretty solid, I think, with the uh, Pro Double Heat Sinks. Um, they didn't change these in any way, which is great. Um, let's think what else we can load on this guy. We've got large pulse lasers, regular ERs, 50 damage, medium X pulses, ER medium pulse, which is nice. It's two slots, though. Um, what do we got left? Not a lot. What about clan? We have any? We do have some clan missile systems. Um, see what I mean? Like LRM five Delta, LRM five Zeus. Who the fuck cares? It's an LRM five, and it's got bonuses, or it doesn't have bonuses. I guess it gives you the ability to have different 
like different versions of the same basic LRM5s. But really, does it really make that much difference? Um, we could go with a pair of LRM15s. That's seven tons plus ammo. Drop them in the one arm. ERPPC and an LRM30. Let's just try. Let's just try it. What are we at heat-wise? Well, that's not too bad. We can drop a couple proto heat sinks in there, and that should take care of that. Just gotta make sure we keep two tons. So we're doing LRM 30s. We need at least three tons of ammo. We've got LK ammo. Uh, we're gonna need case too. Then let's drop it on this side. Follow the leader missiles. We don't. We got swarm now. Swarm. Um, recreate the splash damage ability of artillery shells. Um, we'll search new targets at 100 meters around the target. 25% long range missile damage. Sure. That's 12 turns of firing. Yeah, we haven't got any space left either. So we're gonna need some case in here. We're gonna need more of this. Let's get a couple more patchworks in here. Let's move the proto double heat sinks and this onto this side. Um, okay, let's put the tier three in here. And then let's put the 0.25 in the head. So we got two tons left over, so maybe a Maybe a heat sink in case. Now, case two is how much? There's so much stuff now. Case two is a ton, right? Yeah. Gonna put it in here, and that's fine. We're okay with a ton. If it means staying alive longer. And then we wanna have, uh, where are you here? Prototype double heat sink right here on this side so we should be relatively cool yeah so once again this is just a long range build because um, we want to inflict a lot of long range damage we're not going to be closing with anybody not till we get our C bills and we can refit our lance back out the way we had it so let's do that okay so now we got those two up and down up and down derped our right uh, I spoke to good um, Let's look at getting, so we've got about a little, got a, about one and a half million left. Let's look at, um, what do we want to pull out now? I'd love to be able to pull the Black Knight out. It's just not economically feasible until we can do it right. So there's no point in doing that, but let's get the, I mean, the punchback would be a close-in one. Um, no matter what we do, it's all going to be close-in. I mean, the Strix has got tons of laser points. It carries a Beagle Active Probe and an ECM suite, really? Hunchback. Hmm. Wolverine. See, the Wolverine's a great all-around mech. Four energy, four, four missile. It's pretty versatile overall. Um, if we're going to go with a stand and shoot... Actually, this guy runs pretty damn cool. So let's ready the Griffin. Sure thing. We'll see that it's prepped and ready. So let's get the Griffin up. Uh, manage our tasks a bit here. Let's 
do this. Okay. And we might be able to run with just three. We could do three skulls missions. Three skull missions probably with three. Depending on what the mission is. Also depends on how cheaply we can get these guys up and running here. Okay, so we got missile points and we got energy points. Royal Double Heat Sink Kit already gives us 5% weapon heat. We'll probably be switching that out anyway, but uh, let's start with equipment. Let's go right to the clan. Let's go to most likely stealth arm or NSS probably. It's the next best one. We're going to need that. It won't let me put it in though, will it? No, of course not. Because screw you! It should just allow you to put it in. And then just deny you being able to build it. Um, I wonder. No, not on this mech. I'm thinking of something. We're going to try something, I think, in a minute. Um, let's get the 250 in this guy. I want a bit of speed on the Griffin. And let's go with... Advanced TC or energy? Oh, I should have put this on the bushwhacker. Ah, well, what do you do? Direct fire missile accuracy. What do we have missile wise? Got a lot of missile points on this guy. Could go Artemis with some lerms. Do we have any more clan lerms? I wish we had more arrow ammo. It would be kind of nice. We don't have more clan lerms, unfortunately. We do have the accuracy. MMLs are kind of nice too. Wish we had the nines though. Big MRMs. All right, let's. Um, we could go for speed and close in build. Let's actually hold off because the components that I want are on the. Um, catapult. So let's just get this guy's going. Okay, uh, now we can put those guys into holding. So crab can go in. Crab, I don't know. I'm never really happy with a lot of these the, uh, the crab builds. I find it really difficult. Right arm has got an obsolete in it. What do we have in the right arm? Was it a ballistic um, weapon mount? I can't remember what we had there now. I'll have to go back and look. Alright, drop this out. And drop this catapult out. Okay, now we can build the griffin. Let's do this. We had to wait for these bushwhackers to come back anyway. We only got two mech bays running, so it's not like we can get all three going at once. All right, because what I was thinking of for this build is going with... Da -na 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 -na, where are the missiles that I'm looking for? Did they change them? They did. I 
I guess they were too powerful before. These were the these were the triple plus ones before. Let's do this. Okay, let's grab a core. Um, endo. Most likely going to be using Patchworks again, but we'll check it out in a minute. Um, at least a double heatsink kit. Well, I don't know. This is a royal double heatsink kit. Minus 5% weapon heat already, so it's better just to leave that in. Um, going to need an exchanger. Well, we, may, we might need an exchanger. Uh, where are you here? Um, where is the XL gyro? We probably want to put that in there. Uh, I might go with a mask. I don't know yet. Uh, most likely we want the warfare suite. We want to stay hidden from the enemy as best we can. Um, 250 core to start. Let's just leave that. Might go bigger. Um, let's go with... I want to go with Artemis and... Artemis on these things, or do you want to? We want to go with damage. Let's just think about that for a minute, because we got missile damage, right? Plus one damage from from missiles. Just means we need to be close. We got to be able to see the enemy, right? Um, enhanced imaging will definitely help. Sniper sensor. I thought that we got a ranged one. Increase our ranged. 10% to all brackets. How much? How far do these guys fire? 330. So we get up to 360. Um, I don't know. Is it worth the extra 30 meters? Maybe. I mean, really, these are made for like, sort of medium long range builds, but I guess you could. Let's just drop it in. What do the SLDF ones give us? Sensors, sight and sensors. Let's go with that. Um, missile accuracy and missile damage. Let's go this route. And then, and then, we need ammo, we need case. Um, so let's look at, let's drop the case in first because if I don't, I'll forget and that would be very bad. So let's case both sides. Do we want to do both sides? We only got one left. So let's case uh, this side. Oh, we got wait, we got a lot left. I was looking at the wrong one here. Okay, and then we want the NSS in here to stay stealthy as shiz. Um, put the warfare suite over here. Let's go with um, ammo. We got an inferno. We got dead fire ammo. We definitely want to carry some dead fire. This would be four turns of firing with dead fire ammo. Can't use Artemis. Probably want to have some acid rounds in. And LK for the rest. We have a ha we don't have a half ton of acid ammo, do we? You know what? I haven't even checked the stores to see if they changed at all. See if they got a half ton of uh, acid ammo here. Oh, they got IATM ammo. Sixty shots. Let's grab one of these because I know we have an IATM we could use later on. And it's cheap enough. No, so no half loads. Um, so we could go with one dead fire, one acid.
I have to look for a half load of acid, I think. Let's go this route. We should be doing really well heat wise. 72, 68, yeah. Why is it 72? Why is it 72? Minus 6 heat per turn. Huh. How do we have 72 heat sinking? Am I just blind or am I not? What is it I'm missing? I'm not complaining. I'm just confused is all. Um, so secondary weapons. Let's grab. I like these guys. They're a little hot, but um, we can fix that. Uh, or we can just go with medium expulses. They're 25. What's the heat on these guys again? 26, a little more, but they're, these ones have much longer range and uh, a little bit more damage. Accuracy is plus one. These are plus one. Okay. And so let's go back here. Um, we've got lots of patchwork, so let's use it. Lots of patchwork. All right, so that gives us a room to put an exchanger in. Got a client exchanger down here. I like the clan ones just because they're only one ton. They're fixed at sort of like the middle, like middle of the road, uh, inner sphere type. But um, this is three tons. This is only one, so it's kind of why I like these ones. Let's drop it over here. What do we got now? Yeah, man. Um, can throw the patchwork in this arm. Now, do we have another half ton? We do have a half ton patchwork we can drop in here. We got three tons left over. What can we put in for three tons? Let's get another energy weapon. The other thing is, is rather than using the uh, ER medium pulse, we just use regular medium, like clan medium pulses. We got one ton left. But not enough room for a heat sink. I mean, we could run a little hot. could. Or. It's a big or. We go with a prototype double heatsink kit. Yeah, no, we're not sinking anywhere near what we need to. That's 5071. 7893. Yeah, this is better. Heat bank. What's how much does this take up? Two slots, perfect. Minus nine heat per turn. Yeah, man. Let's do it this way. That's pretty damn heat efficient. Lots of overheat. We don't really have the speed, that much speed, but, you know, we do have the stealth, so should be okay, I think, once we can get better engines and stuff in. We did not max the armor. Ah!
God, this is painful. Painful. Okay, let's take this and this out. Do this. It's not going to give us max, I don't think. Or is it? Oh my god, it does. Okay, but we can lower that slightly because I'm going to go back and put the... Uh, where are you here? The uh, ER medium pulse. I guess I could go with just two ER medium lasers. Pulse is better chance to hit, but the dual medium lasers I can split targets. Range is 560, 560, so it's the same. This just gives us three chances to hit on one target. This gives us two chances to hit. Let's go this route to start. We're over by half a ton. That's okay. We can take half a ton off. No problem. Yeah. And that might be about it. Let's confirm this guy. Man, without putting those cores in, it's really, really hard to to, to judge this. All right, then I want to try something ridiculous. So let's go to the mech base because I'm good like that. Oh, and we're already here. Der -der. All right, sorry guys, I'm like really tired, like really, really tired. I'm trying hard to to work uh, at work, and then I got to come home and. And do this. I really love doing this, but it's so hard to do it when you're so tired. All right, we're gonna bring the Irania forward because I'm gonna go crazy with this. Got it. Wouldn't be long. All right, let's get it ready. Manage our tasks. Let's bring you up. It's gonna take like a month. We may have to sell a few things here, but ah, uh, we. I think we'll be okay. Thirty days. We should be fine. Let's th just check out the <laughs> See, see what I'm going to do to this guy. This guy is completely support. Just support and that's it. So, I don't even care. Right? This guy is just a support mech only. If it engages in combat, it will be very, very unlikely. Let's put regular endo steel because we don't need anything else. Uh, then let's get... Where are you? Double heat sink kit. Definitely going to need that. Um... We don't need to be that fast, I don't think. Um, do we want XL gyro? Or do, oh, we have the XL gyro because I'm going to do something here in a second. Um, so that's in. For now, we're going to put the warfare suite in because we got to keep this guy protected. I mean, we got so many hard points we can use, right? So um, let's keep him protected. Um, we don't need case. Engine, 200. What's the 200 going to give us speed-wise? As long as it's around 5859, that's 611, a little, a little too fast. Uh, 160 maybe? Yeah, 59. So that'll keep up with everybody else and save us some weight. We got to add four heat sinks, but that's okay. We got those. Um, and then I want to have dun, 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 the command console. The reason why I'm putting this in is it's going to give everybody plus two initiative. Or sorry, plus one initiative. The everybody is going to get plus one hundred land space sight distance, um, plus two lance accuracy with indirect fire. It's only really going to affect one mech, but that's fine. Uh, increased resolve gain. This guy gets injury resist, and this guy's just going to be standing at the back. Uh, he doesn't need to move in and do anything. Um, so that's why I'm going that route. He's just providing everybody else the uh, support, and we don't need anything else down here. So let's go up. Let's get our double heat sinks in. Just so we don't forget them. Let's max out the armor because, you know, me forgetting to do shit. All right, double heat sinks. Got to put them in the torsos here. One, two. Need four of them. We need to get more double heat sinks, man. We're running low on them. That's crazy. Uh, so that's all we need to do with that. Uh, we want stealth, actually NSS. So let's put that in. Then we need to go with weapons, and let's go to uh, lasers. Let's go all the way down here. Da -na 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 -na. One ER PPC. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> we should. 
Too bad we don't have a weight for the heavy PPC. Um, flat chance of jamming. Boy, oh boy, that's fun. The desk there. We can't use that. ER large. We could go with an ER large and something else. Actually, you know what? These are 460, the clan medium pulses. Puts you, I have to be a little closer for that. ER medium pulse. I'm just thinking, like, we need something ranged wise. Lasers are the lightest. It's all smaller as we go up. So, could go with ER mediums. They're 450. 15 heat. We could go with four of these. That's actually not too bad. Because that we should still be synced, right? 60 60. And then what? I don't like, we don't, we don't have any tags or anything in any of these guys. Um, I wonder if we should put a laser AMS on them. Got clan light tag. We could go with uh, two separate tags. And multi-target people and just tag them. We're going to go do that, though we should do taggers. Because it gives plus two improved accuracy. So let's go with taggers instead. The heat will drop a bit, but we can just cycle one weapon on and off. This guy is support only. Tagging people. What's the range of the tagger, though? 400 meters. What's the range of the tag? 510. I don't like the fact that we'd have to be closer. Although we do have a bonus of 100 meter sight distance. So we could be a little, well, no. Let's just go with the regular tags. And we got one ton left. Um, laser AMS. Probably just in case someone's trying to nuke them. Keep them alive a little longer. All right, let's confirm this. So there we have it. That's the lance we're gonna run with for a bit. I was concerned we weren't gonna be able to get a full lance up and running, but I mean, we weren't able to get any engines in these guys, which is unfortunate, because I can't get the loadouts that I wanna do without the extra weight, but we'll have to deal with it for now. So what I'm gonna do, um, we'll advance the timeline forward. And I think probably what we're going to do is slowly start making our way up towards clan space. See how it goes. Now I don't know if we can actually, let's have a look. This is like a three skull planet I think. I don't want to be on a three, I want to be on a two skull. Let's go someplace short. 13 days, two and a half isn't bad. What's the... Uh, it's a Martian environment though, isn't it? Desert. Ooh, tropical. Half skull. Just think we can go for a vacation. This is a one skull planet. Eh. The junction. 22 days. Too far. Well, I guess it's not that far. we got to fix our mechs anyway. That's 17 days. 17 days. One skull. 16 days. Come on, give me something good. Going to this combine's got crappy planets, man. Come on, give me a two skull here somewhere. 24 days. Why are there all these no dead worlds here? 
So many in Draconis Combine space. Awano, there we go. Two and a half. We'll take this one. Small population, former Star League presence, Intersphere Civilization. Terran World, 18 days, travel cost 50k, let's go. That way we can get our mechs fixed on the way there. Hopefully pick up some two and a half, three skull missions. Um, let's ask for some volunteers. Two low spirits and two wounds. Wow. Well, not wounds, but unavailable. That's kind of sucky. Usually I send in the... the uh, the med techs because I don't have anybody that's um, needing medical attention so I don't really care I thought I would try that one that's actually the first time I've actually chosen that just because we can afford it right now can afford the time pass on the game never put yourself in a position where you can take from your your uh, crew ever Okay, we're almost fixed up here. Visit the store. So I saw some pretty cool stuff in the store. There's like long, like the uh, uh, sniper artillery, things like that. So probably not going to get a lot here because this world really isn't that uh, that heavily populated or anything. Double heat sinks. Oh, I mean, I don't want to buy it. Ammo arrow four. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Take that. Heavy Gauss ammo. Yes, please. Because I got a heavy Gauss rifle. Got to watch my funds, though. Mortar smoke. Whoa, that's cool. What's it used in? Is there like a mortar now? Smoke mortar shells leave a thick cloud with with chaff that is nearly impossible to see through. That's kind of cool. How much is it? 34,000. Nah. Let's leave it for now. Got enough rack, I think, for now. Right, let's buy one more. New equipment available. Finally got smoke in the game. That's awesome. Okay. Um... Let's have a look at the contracts here real quick. What do we got going on? Two Skull, Mech Factory. Capture Base, 521. Wow, Jade Falcon's got something going on. Yeah, we'll travel there. Why not? Um, let's come back in here. Yeah, I think it's going to be Mech Factory. Let's try this one. Just want to see how this Lance does. It should be fine, I think. We could even do interdiction, but I like the salvage. The payout's about the same. And it should be easier. Um, let's leave it in the middle like this. Actually, can we go to... That's 416. And 500,000. Let's go this route. Because we should be able to find two picks that are going to give us... What? Uh... About 250,000. Probably. Most likely we will. Ah, Griffin's not back, right. God, I gotta stop doing that. You know I won't. But I gotta stop. Alright, so we got 628 um, uh, financial report. So it's not too bad. Negotiate. Do we really need the salvage though? Well, we'll probably get more. More sea bills that way. Alright. This guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And let's go Baba Yaga, mainlands here. Where are you here? Sunflower. Um, a red comet and a megasaur in the Uranium. Unfortunately, 
It's not the best Mac for her, but it's the one that she's got to use. So let's deploy and get this done. All right. A lot of comm chatter coming from that factory. Can take care of that problem. Yeah, so this Griffin is pretty damn fast. Uh, let's switch this up. We're going to go LK and one acid right now. I love the fact that you can attack the ground. Just brilliant. Brilliant addition. I know I was mentioning that a little while ago too. That it would be nice to be able to just target a hex. I'm sure they heard it from somebody before me though. I will not take credit for anything like that. Oh yeah, man. Look at this speed. Boom, you can keep up with us. Nice. Now, I don't know if there's anybody in that actual base. Oh. We got somebody here. What do we got? A white. And a two who. I can't even pronounce that. I'm not even going to bother. Standing by. What else do we got here? A ghost? And a griffin. Ah, see some nice stuff here. Um, let's just fire on this guy. Okay, got both tags on him. Tag, motherfucker, you're it. Here's what you get as your prize. Show him what he's won, Johnny! Come on, guys. Decide what you're doing. What is up, Bubba? Mm-hmm. See, I don't think this is going to work out anything like it did with the uh, um, Jade Falcon Freeborn. Um, we want to go Swarm or LK? Let's go LK because there's nobody else around him. Firing. Soften him up a little bit. Alright, let's see what they do. Here comes the two who. It's nice. Medium lance against medium lance. Cool. Pretty much the same weight loadout here. We got 355s and a 35, and they've got. Two fifties, a fifty-five, and a thirty-five. White could be forty tons, so I thought it was a thirty-five though. Thirty-five, yep. And they're being very aggressive. That could have been worse. Could have been, but it wasn't. Hmm. Aha. Aha. Okay, a little better. Yes, Commander. It's not being harm's way. Confirmed. Locking on. No joy. 
Ready for orders. Okay, got acid on him, nice. Commander. God, it's so such a horrible chance to hit. Heading out. Let's make him unstable. Make him very unstable. Roger that. that way when he jumps we can knock his ass over. Oh, he's not going to jump. He sprinted. That's interesting. Why would you do that? Definitely not as exciting as the clans, that's for sure, but it's a good battle. Alright. Um. Here it comes. God, that gosh rifle. Oh, dude. Dude, I feel sorry for you. Move order received. Targeting point out. critical hit. It's going down. Standing by. Affirmative. All right. Um can't multi-target. We're just going to CT this guy. That hit something good. I'm here. Question is... Let's do this. And, ooh, okay, nice. Warlord it up and get on. Let's see, I'm going to just do this. we got lots of resolve. Let's get our um, thing off us. This guy's been hit in the head. Okay, I wanted acid on that guy and we got it. Guard a critical hit. I'm leaving the guy on the ground. Chances of him doing anything this next turn are very, very, very low. Of course, now that I said that, he'll get up and headshot somebody. Because that's how I roll. Zeroing in. These guys are really slow moving. That command console does help a fair bit. Uh huh. You know the smart play, buddy.
Looking forward to getting that Strix up and running again. But I gotta figure out where that command console is gonna go. I like the fact that we can see this distance. Come on, buddy, what are you doing? Who are you gonna shoot in the head? Okay, we already got acid on him. Dead fire is 28%, eh? Let's just go LK. Okay, he's unsteady. Guy's not unsteady, but we're just gonna fire at him. Now he's unsteady. We knock this guy down, do you think? Oof. A few missile hits and this guy's done. So, let's multi-target then. We got two juicy targets here. We're going to put the ERPPC on B and everything else to A. Oh, really? All right, he's done. That's a kill. Okay, good damage. Going down. At least the Goss hit this time. Don't know if it's better to have that plus three fire control system for the Goss. I think if we were just shooting from long range, it would be perfect. Um, but I think against like overheating targets, the other... Uh, Improve fire control systems much better. I'm losing armor bad. Ready for orders. On the move. Confirmed. Okay, it's that guy done. That clan ER large hits an awful lot for, for having the same percentage as everything else. Double time, let's go. See if we can get a, a uh, tag on this guy. Firing. Yep, nice. Waiting for orders. Just trying to stay away from that two who. All right. Um. Sure. Oh, I got one shot on him. All right, two who's got to die this turn if we can. I think he's a melee mech, isn't he? Oh, he's got a lot of. Yeah, but they're all like machine guns and stuff. Thousand armor. Hmm. I think we can get behind him. Come on, White, what are you doing? You're going where I was going to go. Asshole. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's get a tag on this guy, hopefully. Okay, we got the tag on him. Started a fire. Hooray! Yes, Commander. Okay, 
What is up, buddy? All right, we definitely need acid on him. Um, and let's soften him if we can. Let's go right with dead fire. And fire. What's up, boss? Acknowledged. Yeah, firing. Damn it. Can't get everyone behind him, but best we can. All right, firing. Oh, yeah. Destroyed his hip. Does that mean he's moving slower? Probably. Not slow enough. 44. Okay, not bad. That white's going to jump over and attack me from behind. Either that or who I'll run down here. One of the two. That's my bet. Let's see what he does. If we had killed the crab, he would have jumped away. We still got to get to that base, man. Yep. Wanted to be aggressive. I need a tag on that white, please. Armor breached. Internal damage. Sorry, buddy, but uh, I can't have you on this field right now. Oh, didn't hit where I wanted it to hit. Okay, well, we got a guns off the field, this guy. But I do want to do a couple things. I don't need acid on this guy now. Just dead fire it up. Let's just finish him up. Just wondering if I should have been going after him with the tags, this guy here. Enemy down. Orders. Um. Yeah. Because, yeah. Roger. Target's taking a critical hit. I see what he does now. He's going to jump behind me again. Bet you any money. Bet you any money. He's going to sacrifice himself to, himself to try and take my, my uh, left torso. Yep. Oh, shooting the other guy, though. All right. Dumb play, but whatever. They're banging through my armor. Waiting for orders. Roger that. This didn't kind of play out how I was hoping it was going to play out. Okay, got the tags on him. Detected times two. Just going behind him because it's just easier to kill him this way. Well, maybe not. I'm here. 
Might be with this though. Dead fire it up. Crab, he's going down. Ready for orders. Uh. I don't think this guy's got any weapons left. Ah, uh, whatever this is. You're not out of long range missiles, you still got the swarm. Well, he shut down. Alright, we're gonna head in. Kill him on the way. Yeah, save the goss ammo. Well, that was interesting. Let's go. Got delayed. Yeah, these loadouts are definitely not going to stay this way. Roger. Full speed. Commander. Really hoping for some distance fighting, but I copy. wasn't the same as the clans. Full throttle. What's up, boss? Aye, aye. I'm here. Took us a long time to kill those guys, though. But you know, I was playing it safe too, right? Now let Megasaur activate the base. What their Sakinis Federation is doing here, I never know, but whatever. Full throttle. Standing by. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move out and get going. Double time. Let's go. I'm receiving you. Um, let's get into position over here. Roger. Yes, Commander. I got a feeling that whoever activates the base is going to be it, but might get a whole nother lance here. There's a good possibility. Although that first lance was pretty tough, so. What's up, boss? On the move. Full speed. Ready for orders. All right, one more turn, guys. Sorry, it's taking forever here. Yes, Commander. Waiting for orders. That's right. Cooling. Heads up, Commander. Of course. Oh man. Enemy detected. Scorpion, a fire truck. It's gonna be garbage. Now that I said that, a Jenner and a Hunchback, okay. Uh, these two guys have moved. So, much better chance to hit. Inferno fire truck. Let's get rid of the MRM-20. Drop everything on this guy. A Goss missed again. Hopefully they can't see me firing this guy because he's already moved. Okay, we got a tag on it. Nice. Waiting for orders. Uh, yeah. Nicely done. Reporting. 
Enemy vehicle removed. Receiving you. Ah, oh, we can hit the swarm with these guys because these guys are pretty close together. Sure. Yeah, this guy got hit by one. That's not bad. I mean, it didn't really help us out, but... An extra four points, not going to say no to that. That's the classic hunchback, right? No, it's a disco back. What do you know? He's got the rave gear. Um, you not see? Oh, you can. Let's hammer this guy. We've got to get rid of him. Worms do sixes because they get 25% more damage. Damage. Let's get into here. And fire. He's very unstable. Firing. Taking shot. Ooh. It's going down. Solid connection on that one. I can't even see it. Move your arm. Yes, Commander. Hmm. Oh man. Just gonna fire straight out. This should do it. Yeah, I love the SRM6 build on this thing. Good for burrowing, good for back shots. So, uh, burrowing, I mean, just get to the side of the mech and shoot through the side to the center torso. Not so good for splash front damage, but way better than having the LRMs. Did this guy not see us? Ready for orders. Maybe he can't. Okay, a couple tags. How much dead fire we got left? 34. Plenty. Should have warlorded it. Oh well. Can't have everything. God, this guy's not having a good day. All right, firing. There we go. Well, at least the reinforcements are easy. Mission successful. All right, six hundred and two thousand. Nice, thirty percent increase, which is great. Got pen there at the back, but I don't think we lost anything. No. Evenly, even distribute distribution of kills, which is excellent. Um, all right, so not looking at mech parts. Laser AMS. Thank you. That's a clan laser, right? Is the white? I guess the white's considered a clan mech, eh? Clan MGs, MRM twenty, SM nine. What's this thing? Smart missile rack. Two invasion pips ignored. Very accurate, long range. Further increased accuracy on it. Uh, oh, it's oh, that's kind of cool. What's the weight though? Four tons. That's actually kind of cool. These are the valiants that we're running right now. 
Uh, wait, I'm going to go down to the bottom here. I've already got one of these things. We're not using it right now. We'll probably use it later. Energy Plus, maybe. We're looking for stuff to sell. I don't know why I keep looking for gear. Probably because there's good gear. Um, ammo, SM ammo. Gonna give that a go. That's sure. Why not? All right, two ghost parts, flamer. Yeah, a couple of minor things we can sell here. Armor piercing, incendiary explosive. Explosive incendiary. Why would you have APIE unless it's incendiary? Expl yeah, incendiary explosive. Got those reversed, guys. Um, that's fine, though. That's actually kind of cool, though. Machine gun damage accuracy. Yeah. Okay, I gotta figure out why the map can't be downloaded. I'm having that's an issue for me. Unless other people are finding the map can't download for them, I don't know what's going on. Uh, well, we got 12 days with the Griffin. 15 for the Bushwhacker. Not much we can do. Um, no, it's not. Three days. So just 12 days for the uh, Griffin. All right. So I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Um, really liking 999. I just wish that uh, work hasn't been hell when it came out. That's kind of a pain in the ass. But that's kind of how my luck goes for most of my life. Um, so, yeah. Uh, when we come back next time, we're going to start taking some more missions. Getting some more gear, bringing some more mechs back in, um, getting these guys fitted out properly. It's going to take a while to get back to where we were, but that's okay. It's going to be a struggle. It's going to be fun. All right, so I'm going to leave the episode there. If you'd like to drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, drop any comments in the comment section down below. Completely open for loadouts for these guys. I think that worked okay. Um, the ERPPC Bushwhacker wasn't working that well for me. Um, the Goss Rifle wasn't hitting as often as it should. But, you know, overall, I think we did pretty well. All right, so until next time, we'll see you later.